So let's do a quick review of the Lays plate amplifier for the Yorkville subwoofer. And you'll see how simple and easy it is to replace the amplifier if you have a powered speaker that's not working right. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. It's just a product that I picked up and so far for me it seems to be working really well. If you're interested in this amplifier or similar plate amplifiers from Lays, there will be a link down below this video where you can check these products out. This plate amplifier is a self-contained module that is the correct size to fit the speaker cabinet intended. It's rated at 1000 watts or 2000 watts peak. It weighs about 10 pounds. If we lift the back cover off of it, we see that it's a typical Class D amplifier with a switching power supply. The original amplifier that was in this speaker cabinet has about the same ratings, but had a linear power supply and weighed more than twice what this one does. So with this amplifier in the box, we shave a few pounds of weight off of the subwoofer. Okay, so let's turn this thing around and take a look at the back side and you'll see how easy this is to install and set up. Installation will take just a moment. It's super simple. Here's the amplifier module. It's fully enclosed and it's an all metal package. You'll see that there is a cable coming out the back side, which is the loudspeaker output. And so this just needs to be connected to the driver inside of the speaker cabinet. So we connect this to the speaker inside of the cabinet. And then we just need to drop this into the hole in the back of the speaker cabinet. And for our convenience, they have even included screws. So let's uh, drop this into the cabinet. Let's take a look at the back panel of this unit. We'll turn it on here. And you'll see that it boots up here in just a moment. Now on the back panel we have inputs 1 and 2 and each input has its own gain control associated with it. And those two inputs are summed to an output right here which says it is pre-DSP so I don't expect to see any filtering or changes to it by a DSP. It's just a mix of these two input signals that could then be used as an output to drive some other box somewhere. In my use I think I'm probably just going to be using input 1 right there. I found it to be pretty sensitive and so there's gain controls for inputs 1 and 2 and then a DSP gain control which is well if you will like master gain over the whole box. And I've got him set to minus 10 dB. If you just turn this knob, you'll adjust the overall gain of the box. If you press this knob, you go into the DSP menus, and there's a little bit of functionality in here, but not as much as I would have hoped for, but it gives you all of the basic functions that you need for a subwoofer box. Uh, the first one is mode, which I've got set to music. The other modes available would be live and DJ but I think that uh, on this box music sounds best um, evidently if you go to the DJ mode it puts in a low frequency hump down in the sub bass and in live mode you get a hump a little bit higher in the bass spectrum but it's they both got a bit of a bump to them music mode sounds flat to me then the next choice is low pass and this chooses your crossover frequency that you want the box to operate up until and I've got it set to 80 Hertz 
you have choices of 80 hertz, 100 hertz, 120, or 150. And that's really all of the interesting choices that the DSP gives you. You've got a couple of settings here about the display contrast and such, but nothing that really impacts the sound quality. And so, pretty simple setup, not much to the DSP. I would have liked to have seen functionality such as uh, actual equalizer available, or a subsonic cut filter so you can cut out the super deep low bass that is below the operating point of this cabinet. But you get all the basic functionality that you normally find on a powered subwoofer, and it seems to work pretty well. So let's turn the box around and take a quick listen to it, and I'll give you my impressions of how well the amplifier works. Well, I think that sounds great. It's probably a little bit hard for you to perceive it because you're listening through a microphone, through a YouTube video. But sitting here, I think the subwoofer sounds fantastic. I think it's back to its old operation once again. And upgrading that amplifier was super easy. So if you have a powered speaker that's not working right, this is certainly an option for you. So what are the pluses and minuses that I see of this uh, amplifier? Well, the plus is that it's a super easy way to get your speakers working once again. And from what I can tell, it's working great. It sounds really good. It's got ample amounts of output power. It's supposed to be 1,000 watts and 2,000 watts peak. They don't get real specific on those specs, but I can tell you that this box can rock the house. I wish that they had given us a little bit more flexibility in the DSP for those live DJ music curves. It would be nice if I actually had a little bit of more adjustment ability in there. Would have liked to have a subsonic cut filter. But um, having said all that, you get all of the controls that you need and it seems to work really well. One of the things that I also appreciate about it is how quiet it is. Uh, there's a fan in the unit which is really quiet and you can barely hear that unless you get your ear up next to the back of the cabinet. But beyond that, I don't hear any sort of hum or hiss coming through the loudspeaker when the unit is idle. And when you turn the amplifier on and off, I don't get any clicks or pops or bumps out of the system. It's just very nice and silent. And so even though I've got a whole lot of power right here, um, got 1,000 plus watts going down to the woofer and uh, that much power going into these little tops actually as well. It is almost dead silent. And so the signal to noise ratio is really good. And like I mentioned, the bass from everything I've heard sounds just great. It sounds tight and controlled and um, a good upgrade. Well, that was certainly an easy fix to get this powered subwoofer box working once again and it sounds like it's working just great with this Lay's amplifier module. If you're interested in that product check the link down below and you can see more about this amplifier and the other amplifiers that they offer as replacements for various model loudspeakers. If you enjoy this kind of content, well, I hope you come back and you watch more, and I hope you choose to join the channel by clicking that subscribe button. So thanks for your time, and I look forward to catching you on another upcoming episode.